Good day, great game learners. Welcome to our new episode of Learning in Technology and Livelihood Education, Agri Crop Production. I am Ms. Maritone Paris Alvarez, also known as Teacher Tunet, from Tungantungan National High School, District 9, Division of Village City. And I am your teacher facilitator for today's lesson. So, how are you today? Are you excited for today's lesson? It's great! But before that, please get your module ready together with your notebook and pen. In your previous lesson, you learned about applying safety measures in the farm. As a review, what is the potential for harm or adverse effect on an employee's health? Anything which may cause injury or ill health to anyone at or near a workplace. Yes, very good. The correct answer is hazard. How about this? What is the type of hazard that includes harmful substances such as acids or poisons and those that would lead to fire or explosion? Like pesticides, herbicides, cleaning agents, dusts, and fumes from various processes such as welding. Correct! Chemical hazard. Today is another day for learning, and I want to congratulate you all for moving this far. Keep on learning so you keep on going. Our topic for today is all about care and management of seedlings. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first identify the proper ways of caring and managing seedlings. Second, determine the different seedling pests and diseases and their control. And third, perform the seedling care and management. Learners, have you already planted your seeds? Are they starting to sprout? Then that's good. And it means that you need to give a special treatment to your seedlings for them to grow healthy before transplanting them in your backyard garden. This lesson will guide you on how to care and manage your seedlings and it will also serve as a supplementary material for the previous part of your lessons. Are you excited to know all of these things? Then good to hear that. Then let's begin. First, let us review the vocabulary words that are commonly used when undertaking nursery works. Please follow the direction. Fill in the missing letters to get the correct answer. Number 1. It is a young plant grown from a seed. The correct answer is... You're right! Seedling. Number 2. This is the beginning of the growth of a seed into a seedling. Very good! Germination. Number 3. It means removing of some seedlings to make room for the growth of others. Exactly! Thinning. Number four, this is done by transferring individual seedlings into their own crop or pot. Great! This is what we call breaking. And the last but not least, it is removing of unwanted plants that grows along with the useful plants. Weeding, you get it right! Job class. Now, let us start our discussion about sibling care and management. So, other crop learners, listen and learn. When siblings are growing, tender, love, and care, or TLC, must be given in order for them to be healthy and free from diseases. 
So, what are the ways to manage sickness? First is water and irrigation. The regular supply of clean water is essential to plant growth. When growing in containers, nursery plants have only a limited volume of substrate and do not have the ability, like mature plants, to search for water from below the soil surface. The amount of water seedlings require depends upon the following. First is seedling age. More water is required after germination when the seedling is young and at quicking out, but this requirement reduces as the seedling grows in age. Second, is the amount of sunlight. If the area is exposed to sun, more water is needed and vice versa. However, do not keep the area shady for too long to reduce water use. The third one is soil type. A sandy soil loses water faster than a soil with high clay content. Hence, sandy soil needs more frequent water. Another way of seedling management is weeding. Weeds are a threat to healthy seedlings development. They compete with seedlings for nutrients, water, and light. Hence, they must be eradicated or controlled. With your hands or a debo, gently pull out unwanted growth. Postponing planting. If it's not possible to plant when the seedlings are ready for planting out, and the seedlings are not bought, cut the tips of the plant to suppress further growth so that they will not be overgrown during next planting season. Another way of seedling management is root pruning. This is the cutting of roots to control root system development beyond the container. Why root prune? When seedlings have reached a certain size, their roots become longer than the depth of the paths. If the roots are deaf without pruning, they penetrate into the ground and develop the root systems. Can you think of another way to care and manage seedlings? You're right! Hardening. Hardening is to expose the seedlings to harsh conditions to make them strong so that they will be able to survive under harsh climate in the field after planting out. It is also a gradual preparation of seedlings for field conditions. What else? Correct! Pricking of seedlings. In cases where seedlings in seed boxes or seed beds are thickly populated, pricking must be done when seedlings have developed at least two leaves. This is done by transferring individual seedling to another seed box or individual container. And last but not the least is, you got it right, thinning. Some crops possess small seeds that are difficult to broadcast in the field. They can be sold along a shallow drill and later on, excess seedlings can be pulled out leaving the healthy seedlings about 5 cm apart. Again, this is called thinning. Thinning also accelerates the free circulation of air which makes the seedlings sturdier and healthier. Before we discuss the next subtopic which is the seedling protection, can we recall the different ways of managing seedlings mentioned a while ago? They are water and irrigation, weeding, postponing planting, root pruning, hardening, pricking, and thinning. That's great! Let's move on! Another way to care and manage seedlings is seedling protection. Seedlings are delicate and susceptible to attack by various pests and diseases as well as weather conditions. Such damages can seriously weaken or kill the seedlings. It is important that the damages be dealt with immediately. Damage and disasters in the nursery may be categorized as fouls. 
First is the weather condition. This is damage caused by the adverse weather conditions. We can either regulate watering or shading to comply with prevailing weather conditions. Human. This is the spilling or intentional damaging of seedlings by human beings. Fencing and security are such options to overcome this. Next is livestock and wild animals. Livestock and wild animals browsing or grazing on seedlings, fencing can offset this. Rodents, such as field mice or rats, frequently cause serious damage to seedlings in the nursery as well as in the field by eating them. To control this, cleaning the nursery helps to reduce their population. And the last category is insects. Do you know what are the insects that cause damages to seedlings? First are thrips. There is a laceration of the tender leaves and the plant sap is sucked. Young seedlings show yellow or silvery streaks on the leaves. You can spray any insecticide available in the market in order to control infestation. And the second one is green leaf hopper. The symptom of damage is yellowing of leaves from peak to downwards. Vector for the disease is rice tumor virus and the plant is characterized by transitory yellowing. To control its infestation, apply neem cake at recommended dosage based on product recommendation. Another one is rice case work. The caterpillar feeds on green tissues of the leaves and the leaves become whitish paper. To control, spray monocrotophus. Paddy stem borer. It causes drying of the central shoot known as dead heart. And the panicle becomes dry known as whiteheads. To control, spray any of the following insecticides. We have Quinalfus 25 PC, Fosfamidon 40 SL, and Ophenophus 50 EC. And the last one is swarming caterpillar. If severe infestation happens, cattle grazing appearance will be seen in the rice field. They feed voraciously and transfer from one field to the other. To control, drain the water and spray Chlorpyrifus 20 EC ADML plus 20 liters of water. So these are the list of common insects that cause damages to seedlings. We have number one, thrips. Number two, green leaf hopper. Number three, rice case worm. Number four, paddy stem borer. And number five, swarming caterpillar. These insects need to be managed and controlled immediately to avoid serious damages to seedlings. Not only that, there are also other microorganisms that make the seedlings unhealthy. And let us also discuss the common diseases that occur in the young plants. Although there are various diseases which attack the nursery seedlings, dumping off, powdery mildew, and building are discussed here since they are the most common fungal diseases in the country. The first one is dumping off. Dumping off can occur before germination, after germination, and during breeding. The fungi attack the seedlings at soil level and cause rotting. Conditions favorable for the spread of the disease are high soil density, overwatering, and using of soil with partially decomposed material. Next is powdery mildew. First, small white powdery patches are formed on the leaf surface, and later, the whole surface of the leaf is covered with white powdery mycelial columns. How to control the disease? Fallen diseased leaves should be buried in soil or burned, and the young seedlings sprayed with bending. Another one is wilting. This is a dying work of the main shoot of a seedling. 
it is mainly caused by overcrowding. Separating the seedlings or immediate planting out can help control it. Again, what are the common diseases that occur in young plant? They are dumping off, powder mildew, and wilting. Good job! It is very important to care and manage the seedlings so that they grow healthy before transplanting. Have you learned something today? Let's check how far have you learned from this lesson. Are you ready? Write true if the statement is correct and false if otherwise. Number 1. Pricking must be done in seedlings while the true leaves are yet to come up. Number 2. Nursery plants have the ability to search for water from below the soil surface. Number 3. Weeds should be removed because they compete with the seedlings for nutrients, water, and light. Number 4. Root pruning is the cutting of leaves to control root system development beyond the container. And number 5. The act of exposing seedlings to harsh conditions to make them strong is hardening. Number three, true. Number four, false. And number five, true. Did you get all the correct answers? You certainly did well today. Now, for your performance task, fill up the table as shown in the next screen to show the care and management you have given to your siblings at home. Indicate the date of accomplishing the task and document your activity through taking photos while doing the task. Ask guidance and assistance from any of your family members. Good job guys! You are all amazing! And that ends for our lesson today. Remember, that giving plants a tender love and care will make them grow healthy and in return they will provide you food for you to become healthy too. Again, this is Teacher Gunnett. Thank you for staying tuned AgriCrop students. Keep on learning so you keep on growing. Have a good day. Goodbye.